elbows lift and your armpits lift shift your weight forward just as little as you need to to come into down dog inhale lift your left leg up uh-huh and what's happening with that left leg i see a lot of left legs that are kind of uh, unconscious can you really reach long through the left heel is your pelvis square or is it sort of in the middle of nowhere yeah now you're talking step your left foot between your hands but think about your right leg and then nice and easy bring your right knee down mm -hmm. and take a minute to get organized shift your left knee forward as far as you can go keeping your left heel down Mm -hmm. And then brighten up your right foot. Put the top of your right foot on the floor. Yeah, and that's going to help you lift your weight off of your knee. Good. Interlace your fingers on the top of your left thigh. Mm -hmm. Not on your knee, but right up your thigh. Yeah, way up high. Mm -hmm. And then from the down of your two feet, hip points lift, back ribs lift. Arms can come up. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. Try to keep your ears, your arms. Yeah, then you can go up and back from there. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Is anything all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Good. Look up. Backstroke your arms. Place your hands on the floor. Tuck your right toes under and lift your right thigh so much you can lift your left leg and come into pigeon. Fingertips in line with um, really your shoulders if you can. So you can come up on your fingers and walk your hands back a little bit. Take a look at your back leg, everybody. Make sure it's going straight back and see if you can keep your toes reaching straight back. Now you're talking. Okay. Inhale, tailbone drops, chest lifts, exhale, ripple forward. Inhale from the down of the tailbone, armpits lift, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up, exhale all the way back down. Inhale all the way up, bend your right leg, reach around and hold on to it. Slowly, just finding out what's there today. What's happening in your right leg today. I bet you can do this. Yeah, then you get a little opening there. And a lot of you guys can walk your left hand back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's going to help you bring your spine more upright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Any variation you feel like. Square your chest, breathe in, exhale nice and easy, place your hands on the floor, step into down dog split, square pelvis, left leg up in the air. Now you know where we're going, you can laugh again if you want. Good. So what creates up in yoga is down. So for when we go down, think of reaching up, up, up with your pelvis and your top leg as you lower your forearms down. Go ahead, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then draw the side waist up and integrate your front body. And go ahead and jump up and down. You might jump up an inch, that's perfectly fine. Good everybody, take a little rest in child's pose. your tummy everyone and come onto your forearms sphinx pose the most inscrutable of all poses so your elbows will be below your shoulders you can separate your feet so your heels are sitting bone distance apart and again pressing the tops of the feet down then 
just the littlest bit of a slump can actually slump down. Yeah. From the slump, you know from slump, right? Yeah. Think of externally rotating your arms. So the shoulder blades draw together and that broadens the collarbones. So the back is very active here. Even though you're in a back bend, the side waist can be a little bit lifted. Just really the same as in this pose, only the back is curved in a different direction. Remember the feeling of burrowing the tailbone. Yeah, good, okay. Look to the right. See everything along the way as you scan over to the left. Some people are giving their friends dirty looks. <laughs> Come back to the center. Lie down on your front. <laughs> That's right. Good. Okay. Bend your legs. Take hold of your ankles. Begin to lengthen the legs and that, let that lift you up into Dhanurasana. We're just going to do one of these. That's the way. So it's a lot about the action of the legs. Mm -hmm. Armpits are lifting. Good. Turn your head to the right. And slowly all the way to the left. Back to the center and come all the way down. Okay. Now right leg and hold on to the inside of it the way we did in pigeon with your right arm turned out bend your left leg hold on to the outside of it mm -hmm. left leg's going to go up into Dhanurasana right foot is going to go down into Bekasana if you don't know what I'm talking about you can look at Liz Getter left leg goes up right foot goes down give it a try yeah, this is really for your mind. This is how yogis get smart. Uh-huh. Good, and then can you lift your chest a little bit more? Yeah, and see what's in front of you. Take a breath in. As you exhale, say, I'm back bending. And come all the way down. Okay. You've only got one other side. 